Lafara disease is one of the progressive myoclonus epilepsies. It is a rare, fatal, and congenital glycogen storage disease. Lafara disease initially presents as cognitive deterioration, similar to Alzheimer's and dementia, with disease progression resulting in persistent myoclonus, tonic-clonic, and major generalized seizures. Symptoms manifest within the second decade of life, typically between the ages of 11 and 18. Lafora disease can be formally diagnosed when pathic mnemonic Lafora bodies have been identified. These Lafora bodies consist of insoluble glycogen molecules known as polyglycosins, and when accumulated in neural tissue, can cause the neurodegeneration seen in Lafora disease patients. Within humans, glucose is stored in the form of glycogen, which is mainly synthesized in the liver and muscles. The straight glucose chains of glycogen are formed by the glycogen synthase enzyme. The branches of the glycogen molecule are formed from a branching enzyme. The distribution of glycogen levels in the brain is low, with glycogen being stored in astrocytes to limit accumulation and distribution within neurons, which in turn affects neuronal signaling. Disruption of the mechanisms behind neuronal glycogen metabolism leads to the abnormal accumulation of cytoplasmic glycogen inclusions, known as Lafora bodies, and this is thought to be the main cause of Lafora disease. The mechanism of Lafora disease has been postulated by two different hypotheses. The first suggests that Lafarin and Malin form a complex which downregulates PTG, and thus controlling the activity of protein phosphatase 1. PTG recruits PP1 to the places where glycogen synthesis occurs, allowing the activation of glycogen synthase and the inactivation of glycogen phosphorylase, thus increasing glycogen synthesis and decreasing its degradation. The Lafora malin complex recognizes and ubiquinates PTG and targets it for proteasomal dependent degradation. In Lafora disease patients lacking a functional Lafarin malin complex, the downregulation of PTG would be deficient, leading to an overactive glycogen synthase. This hypothesis concludes that an increase in glycogen synthase activity without an increase in branching enzyme activity is thought to lead to the formation and accumulation of insoluble glycogen. The other hypothesis is with regard to a mutation in Lafarin that leads to the failure of its phosphatase function coupled with the mutation in malin, which leads to the loss of its ubiquitination function and thus the ability to degrade lafarin. The occurrence of both these dysfunctions are believed to be the causal factor for the formation of Lafora bodies. However, the exact mechanism behind this is not fully understood and there are some conflicting reports on the extent of contribution these dysfunctions have on the formation of Lafora bodies. There is currently no treatment for Lafora disease, and its diagnosis indicates a fatal prognosis for the patient. Therapy for Lafora disease patients is often focused on the alleviation of symptoms rather than a curation of the disease. Myoclonic seizures are the most significant and debilitating symptom of Lafora disease and are treated with anti-epileptic drugs and anticonvulsants in an effort to reduce the persistent spasms and reduce the chances of a catatonic status. However, as the disease progresses into the late stages, palliative care is the only treatment available, presenting a bleak outlook for those of the minority that are affected. Current research is still unraveling the mechanisms for the formation of Lafora bodies and Lafora disease manifestations. However, its details are beginning to be narrowed down. Hopefully in the near future, the necessary pathway of this disease's progression can be elucidated, allowing effective treatments to be developed for the gene mutation or regulatory enzyme malfunctions.